Hello, beautiful friends. How are you guys? I hope everyone is doing great. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Molly. I am the Happy Soul Coach. I am an intuitive tarot card reader, psychic medium. Today, I'm going to be doing a reading for the Twin Flame Collective to see what the current energies are, what the future outcomes are going to look like. Um, if this resonates with you, then this is the reading for you. If not, don't worry. Again, this is a collective reading. Um, so it may not resonate with everybody, but if it does, I'd love for you to like this video, leave me a comment. I love to read through everybody's comments. Um, I know I haven't been on the channel in a while. As you can see, I have a new setup. Um, I have moved. I actually bought a home and I'm super excited about my new space and my new office. And I am going to be trying to get back on the channel more often. Um, I'm also starting a new corporate job. So things have just been a little hectic to say the least, but all has been very good. Um, it's things that I've been manifesting uh, for a while, so I'm really excited about that and I'm happy to bring you guys these readings again. And again, I will start doing personal readings um, as well. If you guys wanna book one of those, all of the information is in the description box below. You can book directly on my website, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I just wanna call in my spirit guides, guardian angels, ascended masters, five and above. Please let me be a clear channel for the collective today. Please guide us the answers that we need to know. Okay, we want to know what's going on with our twin flames, okay? It's been a while since I've checked in. Um, I will tell you that the last couple of nights, and maybe you guys have been experiencing this, I've had really wild dreams. And I actually dreamed about uh, the person that I like to call my spiritual catalyst. Um, I don't like to sometimes put the label twin flame on him, um, but he was a spiritual catalyst for me, but I had a dream about him. So last night, which was really random because I don't really think about him that much anymore. And um, yeah, it was really, really bizarre. Uh, so if that's happening with you guys, leave me a comment uh, below as well. So let's check in, find out what's going on. So Spirit, we want to know the overall energies. First card out is the Fool. Oh my God, that's crazy. And that flew out so fast. Okay. So the Fool card represents like the zero point. Excuse me. Let me just turn my phone on silent there. Um, the full card represents the zero point, right? So this to me is taking a leap of faith, um, starting over, starting new beginnings, right? So I feel like for some of you, this is going to be taking a leap of faith in your twin flame situation. Your twin flame is going to be taking a leap of faith. This could be in like their personal life or, um, in regards to your actual rom romance, right? So I feel like for a lot of you, your twin flame will be coming forward soon, communicating soon. Um, perhaps again, so the full card to me is also about travel. So, um, I feel like some of you may be traveling or your twin flame might be traveling to see you. Maybe you are, um, long distance, right? So I feel like there's going to be some travel coming up. Um, and again, this is kind of like the zero point, this new beginning coming for you guys. So let's get three cards here, please, for the current energies. Okay. We've got the 10 of swords. Yeah. Something is coming to an end. Something is coming to a painful end. I have a feeling this is like a, a karmic situation. And we've got the page of wands. Okay, so again, I feel like there's um, a lot of uh, this sort of sense of like, um, okay, yeah, so this is what they're showing me here. Okay, so look, he's got the candle, right? And he's like, it looks like he's about to, it's almost like he's following the light, right? Like following the light of the candle. Uh, with his like magic wand. So I feel like, again, there's something that's coming to an end that's going to kind of catapult your twin into this new beginning, this coming forward, this traveling to see you. Um, and again, just kind of following the light. It's almost like your, your divine masculine has all of a sudden sort of seen the light, right? Okay, got to get rid of this situation going on here. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to call this reading. Divine masculine has seen the light, okay? So again, zero point new beginnings, traveling to see you, and again, traveling towards the light, which is you, Divine Feminine, okay? So let's find out. I want to know about this karmic situation. What is going on with this karmic situation? <clears throat> got the Strength card here. That's the Leo card. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. And we've got the Six of Pentacles. Okay. So I feel like this um, relationship at, in the beginning felt very strong, right? Like it felt like um, for your twin, it was like a strong attraction, right? Which a lot of karmic situations, that's how it is, right? It's a strong attraction. It can be physical. Um, the, the strength card also represents Leo. So, you know, this person may have come into their life and was kind of like the center of attention, like very, 
you know, um, like just kind of this like uh, force, right? This force. And again, because it's a karmic situation, it is a force and it's a contract that needs to be cleared out before twins can come in together in harmonious union, right? So I feel like, again, it's sort of, it's interesting because this says six, seven, and eight. Six, seven, and eight card. So again, it goes in order. So it feels like, okay, so first it was, okay, this relationship may have felt like, okay, I'm getting everything that I need from this. Um, <clears throat> the seven of pentacles. So again, this is like, okay, we are trying to plant roots. And then it's like, it's just not going to happen. Because again, it's a karmic contract, right? But it needed to happen in order for you guys to come together. So again, I feel like in the beginning, it felt like it was the right relationship. And now your twin is having this epiphany. Okay, your twin is having this epiphany. So let's find out, uh, what do we need to know for union? Like, what does the Divine Feminine need to do? Ace of Wands, that's beautiful. So I love this card. Look at this. It's like, it's so pretty, right? I love this deck. I can't remember what this deck is called, but I'll, I'll, I think it's the Star Spinner Tarot. Um, anyway, so again, this is like putting yourself out there, right? Putting your... Man, what do you want to manifest, right? You want to manifest this union. It's putting it out there, right? Waving your magic wand because you can absolutely create this union, okay? But again, it's coming into self-love first as we always talk about. Um, and again, it's putting it out there, waving your magic wand and staying in a really good energy. Okay, that's really important right now. We've got the hermit and we've got the devil. Oh my God, this is crazy. Okay, so the hermit to me is again, going really within, going within. And I feel like right now is a really good time for you to stay home work on your home, like work on yourself, do your meditations, maybe go to yoga, however that resonates with you, but not going out and not doing too many, um, like not going out and partying, not going out and being social right now. I feel like right now is really a time for you to go inward and really work on yourself. Because again, when you get into that high vibration, that's when your twin comes back, right? And again, the devil card coming out here too also lets me know you need to let go of anything that's holding you back, okay? Any karmic situations that are holding you back, whether this is a job, whether this is a friendship, whether you're actually in a karmic relationship yourself, or maybe you're dating someone and you're just not really sure, it's time to let that go, okay? It's time to let that go. All right, final three cards for the outcome and union. What do we need to know, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. Okay, we've got the Ten of Wands. We've got the Three of Cups. And we have the emperor. Beautiful. Okay, so I feel like for final outcome union energies surrounding that, again, it's letting go of third party situations, right? We're working on that right now. We're letting go of that, but there's also going to be a lot to celebrate because the heavy burdens are going to be lifted, right? This is coming into divine feminine and divine masculine energy. So divine masculine has to become the emperor. Divine feminine has to become the empress in order for this union to take place, okay? So what this is telling me is that the energies are going to be balanced. You've got to find this within yourself. Your divine masculine is working on it right now, letting go of any sort of karmic situations, releasing those burdens, right? And again, this is releasing pain from the past, right? So a lot of times karmics, you know, a lot of you, I know uh, your twin has left you for a karmic and it's releasing that, forgiving and just letting go, right? Because the past does not define you anymore. It's the future and what you want in the present moment, okay? So you can totally manifest this. And again, it's getting yourself into that empress energy. Your divine masculine is working on it. Remember, he's following the light, okay? He's following the light, which is you, divine feminine. Guys, please let me know how this reading resonated. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And again, if you want to book a personal reading, all the information is below. And I'll see you guys soon. Namaste.